didn't hit me how tired I was until the coffee weared off and I had lunch but it's snowing here it's so pretty um, I'm just heading to work I filmed to get ready with me um, and then I filmed like a little piece after but I realized why my energy is so low in that video is because I'm literally so tired I've been up since 3 in the morning um, my jaw is just like really sore from I don't even know. I have to go talk to my dentist. But yeah, so I'm heading to work. I always love the lighting in the car, so love it. Super cute. But I'm gonna head to work and I'll see you guys in whatever clip is next. Now I'm just getting ready to go to work. I feel like 2020 has been like so much self-improvement in like two months. It's crazy. Okay, hi, I'm back. I feel like a lot of the situations I've put myself in as a kid, like when I was growing, um, I've learned from. I feel like as I get older, I'm starting to see what I want more and what I'll put up with and what I'll tolerate compared to when I was younger, I would like see a red flag and be like, oh, it's fine. Maybe he'll change, maybe he'll learn, maybe he'll grow. Even in friends, like you see certain things happen and you're like, it's probably not a healthy behavior to like, you know, be doing or get stuck in but you know we all have people that are in our lives that are like that and stuff and some stay stuck and some learn and grow but I feel like as I get older I just the, the more bullshit that I will tolerate and put up with is like nothing growing up I've learned a lot negatively and positively that has like shown me what I don't want and what I do want and I feel like when it comes to guys I have quite a few years and experience under my belt. I've been in like a lot of long relationships, like years, years, I don't know. You like meet people that like you think are right for you and like have it all right, right on paper. And then you go to talk to them and you're just like, we're the same age and you've been through nothing and I've been through this. And that's not to say like, just because, you know, people go through different things that like you're better or worse. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, if you've been in a relationship for four years or six years and they have been like, in their longest relationships like a month you're kind of like okay even today like i went to the apple store i needed help with final cut and the guy when i got there he's like oh god you have to call apple care and i'm like you're telling me i drove here and there's not one dude in this store that edits video and knows what's going on with video like there's no way and then the next thing i know this guy comes up to me and he's like a genius communicate put your feelings out there 100 percent and everyone's different, like everyone has different knowledge sets and mental capacities. I always say this, like when I was a kid, I'm like, oh, I was so much funner. And it's like, what made you funner? Like you were more naive and, you know, willing to put up with things, you know, push your body in, in ways that like, maybe you shouldn't have pushed it. La, 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 la. Like, does that make you fun or does that make you like aged? Like, does that make you go through things so that now when you get to a certain age, you're like, mm, maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe, you know, I want to do that under certain circumstances. Maybe I don't want to put up with that. Maybe I do want to put up with that. But I literally spoke with two amazing employees today. They were so smart and so sweet. I don't know, it just goes to show like amazing and awesome people are out there. You just have to go find them. Yeah, it was like really refreshing. It was really fun. But anyway, I was watching Vanderpump Rules and I'm totally, like, I love LA. I love like the culture. I love the people. But there's this girl named Stassi. She's like blonde and she's literally, oh, I love her. She's so like raw and real. And like, I don't know, I like her. I also watched, I don't know what it's called. There was like the movie, oh, what's it called? With that guy and he like switches personalities. He's like a baby one minute and then he's like English the next minute and he like kidnaps all these girls. Totally my kind of movie, like love that. Ugh, it's cringy, it's like scary. Anyway, there's a second one and I watched it with my dad and it's so good. Like the ending's kind of weird, but like it teases you, like is there gonna be a third movie? So that was like fun to watch. But now I've just been like in the mindset of like becoming the person that you want to attract. I know that sounds really weird, but it's like, I would personally want someone that like 
takes really good care of themselves and is active and eats well and has amazing hygiene and works and has a life and has friends and has family and is busy but like not too busy and like makes time for things that he cares about and like is a good person and, and is like super sweet on, on the inside and like you know maybe has a rough exterior but like once you get past like certain like barriers and get to know him he's like a super super sweet guy and you know just how you would treat other people is like when you watch someone how they treat other people like that's kind of like an underlying layer of how they would treat you. So I've just been like super focused this year on being the best version of myself I can be because I feel like I would want to attract and put out into the world what I want to receive. But yeah, so I just finished my makeup. I'm gonna go get changed and get ready for work. I am honestly so happy, but yeah, I don't know. I just feel like what I put out into the world is what I want to receive and 2020 has just been like the biggest year for that. So everything I do, I know it. I know if you're spiritual or if you're atheist or whatever you are, I'm personally raised Catholic um, and I'm a very spiritual person. I believe God does exist. Um, and I do pray every day or at least say I'm thankful and just like thank you for the day. But I've been I've been really trying to put myself through that lens and like be, a, be as authentic to myself because I feel like, you know, God's always watching. So it's like, I want him to see me being the best I can be because I feel like that will attract me towards, you know, that guy that's doing his thing and trying his best. Cause I feel like once we like align, it'll just be like amazing. Even if you feel like there's no one that understands you, put yourself in situations and you'll find one person, I promise you, that you'll look at and be like, you're so cool, you're so sick, you're awesome, you're dope, you're smart, I love it. So I'm gonna head off and go to work hello vlog oh my god the energy i have right now is crazy so i just left the apple store and i wish i got his name he was like the sweetest guy he was so smart like when you think of like a genius that works at a genius bar like he was a genius oh my god like beautiful so backstory i got to the apple store and okay so the video i'm editing right now i proxied the media and like I, he ended up telling me like proxy doesn't matter like all this stuff so i was thinking to myself because like the rendering files were literally almost a terabyte of storage a terabyte of storage if you know what i'm talking about like crazy so i'm literally like freaking out i'm like why why is this happening so he literally helped me with that all I have to do is delete it and like save the video as a backup and then delete that and I should have all that space back But I couldn't finish the video because like it it wasn't letting me because I had no space in my computer because of all the rendering files So when I got there I was like hi like um do you have anyone that you know specializes in final cut or like video editing? Oh my god, there's a guy parking up next to me Okay, and he's kind of hot anyway literally as I'm pulling up he's like um we can help you with final cut you can call Apple Care, and I'm like, why would I call Apple Care when I'm here? Like, I, I was not about to call Apple Care. I would literally be so fing pissed if I had to call Apple Care. So, he ended up finding me a guy that specializes in, like, he's a video editor. He's familiar with video editing. I was like, hey, like, bring him over. In two seconds, he helped me fix everything. All I have to do is make a backup and save everything. I'm literally so happy and blessed. And I literally hugged him. I was like, you're saving my life right now. So, I'm in the best mood. I can literally export my video, make lunch, and hopefully everything will save. And and yeah, now I can get this video uploaded for you guys. I hope you can like literally feel the energy coming off of me. It's like really hot. I'm like, hello neighbor. Anyway, but I'm like vibrating because it's like he literally fixed it. I was gonna go out and spend all this money on a memory card and try to like fix it that way. But in like literally an hour, he taught me so much. And I'm just so grateful that you hope that you can get like the best help possible. And he was literally a genius. So if you end up watching this one day, and you see this video thank you so much you are literally so smart and intelligent and i appreciate your help so much and without you i literally wouldn't have been able to upload this video and i wouldn't have learned half the things i learned so i'm so grateful and thankful and blessed up the arrangement, 
which I got for a super good price thanks to the girls at work and Jaden. I'm heading to the house now for dinner. I literally changed and got everything ready in 10 minutes. But yes, this is my little look for dinner. But yeah, work was good. I don't know, busy. It was really weird because like there was this lady and like she was right in front of me and there was a lady behind her. And I thought, I fully thought that she was like giving me flack because like she was looking like at me, but then I looked and she was fighting with the lady behind me. But yeah, I'm gonna stop vlogging. I'll vlog when I get there. And yeah, happy birthday, man. I forgot to vlog it because I was driving, but I just got here and I just gave my mom her little flowers. So we're gonna have dinner and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Car wash. Oh, God. <laughs> do I, I don't want to get out. Do I have to get out? I'm not getting out. It's actually like there's quite a few spots for this pandemic. There's so much spots available. But yeah. It's full. Oh, it is full. It does say full. Hold on. It literally says full. I don't even know how I did that. Just... This is the final look, and now I'm just leaving for lunch. See you guys in a little bit. Hi vlog, I am now with Michael. Oh my god. I'm like out of breath, carrying that thing is like 50 pounds. It's like half my workout. So I'm gonna hydrate, of course. But we are just heading to the house to regroup and have lunch before we go work out. I literally am so out of breath right now, it's crazy. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a, a little bit. Oh my god. Do you don't you hate passing semis when you like can't see the end but you're like still going? It literally gives me such bad anxiety. I can't I can't think of fucking shoes on. Oh. Michael is literally driving backwards. So fast right now, we're gonna fucking hit something and die. There was like a flood of water, and we couldn't go into it because it was way too deep, and we're not risking that right now. The lighting in here is so much better. And yes, I'll put my seatbelt on. Hi guys, I am just in the car. I feel like I've been grounded. <laughs> I couldn't go in to get any wine because I forgot my ID at home. Like. Only I would bring my toothbrush and like not bring my ID. Like I just, I don't know, I wasn't thinking. I was like, oh, I would rather have fresh teeth than like bring my ID. And then like we weren't going out. So like it wasn't like we're in isolation. So like obviously I wouldn't need my ID. I don't know, I wasn't thinking. So here's a little update. I look like this and we are going to have steak and potatoes and red wine and then like go for a walk later so super chill night and yeah i'm obsessed with i don't know the look i hate my hair today but whatever this is the outfit and people are literally staring at me vlog right now <laughs> hi vlog so i just picked up two cases of red bull Right now, cheers! Mmm, so good. And then I also just got these. They're just like literally, basically a root sock, but from the dollar store. So now I'm gonna go home and film some TikToks and get ready for the night and finish this red ball. So I will catch up with you guys on the next clip. 
Yeah.